Hi guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Starfield Guide video. This one will likely be my final Starfield Guide as I move on. I have Cyberpunk DLC, Phantom Liberty, which I'll be playing later today. Plus we have Assassin's Creed Mirage, Lords of the Fallen, Spider-Man 2, all out in the next four weeks, so it's going to be a busy time. But I wanted to go over one last Starfield video as I've still seen a lot of confusion on what's the best armors in game and how do armors work in general. So let's take a look at what are the best ones. Now armor in game has several stats including ballistic damage resistance, laser damage resistance or energy, electromagnetic damage resistance and elemental damage resistances. You also have perks which are based on the rarity. You get none on common, one on rare, two on epic and three on legendary. You can also equip eight mods. And lastly, all weapons have a quality rating from common to superior on armor sets. And of course, you want all your armor sets to be superior. Now really, you want to equip an armor with the best ballistic damage resistance as it's the most common enemy weapon type. And then you also want one with the high laser weapon resistance second, and then the EM is not really worth it. And elemental resistance is good, but again, it's not as important. What you also need to remember is that armor and weapons are tied to your current level, and so a legendary you get at level 1 is not as good as a common you will find at level 20. The same applies to weapons. But armor has a base damage resistance stat, and that means some armors are better than others at the same level and the same quality. So we can be on the lookout for certain armor sets that will give you the best possible stats for your current level. Now for unique armor, since there is only one of them, you should find them once you've reached a later point in the game, where you're no longer gaining a lot of levels, as they can become obsolete pretty quick. Some of them do have the best stats though. So let's take a look at what's best, and I've excluded Starborn armor from the list, but I have 5 regular and 3 unique in order from worst to best. Number 8 is the Mantis armor set. It's one of the unique legendary armors most people equip early in the game, and you get it from the Mantis questline by finding a secret slate that is dropped by spacers. It's a decent armor and will be great to equip early in game, but being unique it won't last long and you'll quickly need something better to equip. Number 7 for best armor is another unique one called the Mercury armor, and you find this during the game's storyline. At some point you'll head to Earth and you'll gain access to the NASA museum, and the Mercury spacesuit is located inside of the museum. A decent armor, better than the Mantis, and again, since it's unique it won't last forever, so you're best to pick this up as late as possible in game if you plan to use it as your main armor set. Number 6 is the Mercenary Armor Set, found commonly at vendors and it's dropped by plenty of enemies and found as random loot. It has a base ballistic damage resistance of 236, making it the 6th best armor set, and that is if you equip all 3 of the spacesuit, pack and helmet. Number 5 and 4 are joint one really. First we have the Explorer Armor Set with 256 base damage resistance, and this is another very common armor set to find in regular loot. The other set that's almost identical in stats is the Mark 1 Armor. The difference being mainly that it has slightly higher elemental resistances, the downside being it's incredibly rare to find. It's not technically a unique armor, but you'll struggle to find it anywhere other than the one located in the lodge basement, so keep that in mind. And because of that as well, you'll also struggle to find legendary versions of it, since the one in the basement of the lodge is not legendary. Number 3 is the Bounty Hunter armor set. This is the third best one in terms of stats, and it's one you may have come across while getting the Mantis armor, but it's not unique and in fact quite common in the higher level systems. You can even buy common versions from the vendors, although you'll want a legendary one to drop from enemies or in loot. It has a base damage resistance of 268 from the full set. For number 2 and number 1 armors, again this is kind of a joint one. Both have pros and cons, and one is unique while the other is regular. The best unique armor we have is the Old Earth armor set. Found by collecting all 13 snow globes, you'll get the armor in game with the best overall stats as a reward for collecting them. And since it's unique, you should pick this up as late as possible to get the most use out of it. Unfortunately, other than being unique, it's also just a common armor set with no legendary perks on it. And so despite being technically the armor with the highest stats, it does have its drawbacks. For the best regular armor, and probably the one most of you should be trying to get a full legendary superior set of, is the Tracker Alliance armor. This has the highest physical damage resistance of any armor set, doesn't quite match the other stats in the old earth armor but it's pretty close, but what it is is quite common in the higher level systems. Its base damage resistance is 280, making it 25% stronger than the number 8 armor on our list, the Mantis armor. And like I said, while it's not quite as high in terms of other stats as the Old Earth armor, you can get this in Legendary and can be farmed quite easily. 
so it's by far the best armor set you should be going for. Number zero, what if you don't care about matching an armor set? What individual pieces can you equip to give you the true best armor in game? For spacesuit, the Tracker Alliance is actually the best for stats overall. For helmet, it's actually the number five on our list for overall armors, the Explorer Helmet. So as a set, it's fifth overall for armor, but as a helmet on its own, it's actually the best stats you can get. Lastly, for pack, the best pack in game, there is quite a few, but technically the overall best one is the Bounty Hunter track pack. Although the Old Earth and Tracker Alliance ones are pretty decent as well. So there you have it, the best eight armor sets in Starfield and the best armor you can equip individually. When you're out and about exploring and you find new armors, then these are the ones that you should be on the lookout for and keeping especially Tracker Alliance and Bounty Hunter armors. So if you're farming stuff and you're reloading saves and things like that, then if you come across any of these eight armor sets, then it's definitely worth keeping some of them. Guys, like and subscribe for more guides. Like I have said, I have a ton of content coming for new games in the next month, starting with Cyberpunk DLC next week. Hopefully I'll have it completed before it drops and have plenty of useful guides for release day, but there's also plenty of new games coming out as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.